to Pilates. Hope everyone's feeling okay today. Nice to see you all. Hello, hello, hello. I can see you all. I can see you all. Lovely faces in front of me. Beautiful faces. And those of you that I can't see, you're here because I heard the intro. So, um, making sure that you're feeling fit and well today. If you're not, if you've got any niggles or anything going on with your bodies today, then obviously just work with them and work with those niggles. I will give you um, modifications if you need them. I will also give you progressions if you need them. So you, whatever you feel is best for you. Um, those of you that are here live, we have the chat box. So please just pop anything in there if you need to communicate with me throughout the session, whether it's to do with your you know, body, whether it's to do with your mind, whatever, however, whatever is going on with you. If you need to let me know anything, please do that in the chat box. Um, and yes, we will get going. So make sure the space is a uh, nice, and clear around you and grab a hold of your block or your pillow or whatever you've got to hand and standing back <clears throat> on your mat or sitting whatever you're doing today and just pop the block between your thighs so we've got a nice hip distance going on does it look darker in here it's not really made much difference I don't know maybe it isn't maybe it's normal I don't know Feels like I'm missing something, I'm not sure what. Anyway, <laughs> arms by our sides. And we're going to take our eye gaze up and forwards. So take your eye gaze up and forwards onto the wall or something in front of you. Maybe a picture on the wall or an ornament or just a little mark. And you want your eye gaze nice and in line. So we don't want to be looking down. And then if you want to, close your eyes, bring your arms down by your sides, so I can see some of you got your hands on your hips, that's it, just let them go. Alright, and then we close our eyes. So let's connect with the breath, my favourite thing to do. Just deep breaths in through the nose, and slow releasing breaths out through the mouth. We're just going to slow everything down. Releasing the jaw. Releasing the shoulders with each out breath and each in breath we're going to feel a sense of lightness through the top of our heads. <clears throat> what we're doing with this breath work now is just becoming really present with the moment that we're in. Let the breath travel all the way up and all the way back down. Imagine if you want that the breath is a nice warm orange light and it's just traveling up through our bodies and traveling back down again. I just want you to notice that. And if your mind starts to wander to anything else, just, you know, say hello to that thought and then focus back on that light traveling up and down your body. And anything that you've maybe been holding on to today, any tension in your body or any thoughts in your mind or anything that might be troubling you. I just want you to breathe it out, down through your legs, through your feet, down into the earth. Let that light travel back up. Nice pure light traveling back up through your body. And then release anything that you don't want down, 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 down into the earth. Good. And when you're ready, opening your eyes. <coughs> Just taking a moment for yourself is a really nice thing to do. So we're going to focus on our um, breathing, our lateral breathing now. So we're going to change the breath and we're going to move it into the ribs and diaphragm. So if you put your hands on your stomach here or top of your stomach, we're going to breathe into our hands and extend the hands and then we're going to bring them back in. So really this will happen through your breath. So by expanding your belly, You'll feel your hands separate and then we're going to breathe out and let the belly engage. So we're going to draw the belly in. So imagine an accordion opening and closing. That's what we're going to do with our diaphragm, okay? So we inhale open, shoulders down, exhale, belly to spine, close, engage your core. And as we do this, keep it going. I want you to imagine that your stomach is that big orange light. We're going to imagine it's the sun, okay? Big round ball of light, breathing in, expanding. Breathing out, engaging. Yeah, so we're going to keep that going throughout. And if you want to adapt the pelvic floor into it, when you breathe out, you're going to engage the pelvic floor. When you breathe in, you're going to release it. And if you're unfamiliar with pelvic floor, 
you're basically imagining you need to go to the toilet and you're stopping yourself from going and then you're releasing but don't actually release if you do need to go to the toilet go to the toilet if you need to go but they're the muscles that we're using and they're really important for helping strengthen your core loads of different things yeah they're your they're your private muscles i will never know you're using them unless you pull a funny face when you do it then i know <laughs> okay let's find our neutral spine you guys laughing at me you know what i'm talking about though <laughs> Just tilting through the pelvis, soften the knees and just tilt through the pelvis. We're going to line the hips up with the sacrum. So you want to imagine a bowl of water here. Maybe it could be Fanta, orange, orange juice. Orange is the colour of the sun and the bowl of orange juice. We want to keep that water level, yeah? And that's your neutral spine. Okay, let's get some movement into the body. So we're going to inhale, come up to our toes and exhale. Exhale, come back to our heels. Let the shoulders melt down. Inhale up and exhale down. Bring your arms by your sides, guys. Let those arms flop down. Keep seeing some hands on hips. It looks like you're cross with me. I know you're not. <laughs> Inhale up. Exhale back. Let's try and get that balance. Lifting through the head. And if you're seated, you're going to rock forwards and backwards. Exactly the same thing. You'll feel your thighs warming up, you'll feel your glutes warming up, you'll feel your abs warming up, shoulders down, feet flat now, let's keep swaying. We can imagine like with Michael Jackson in those, um, those old 80s music videos where he does the lean. And now we all know that um, Michael Jackson's secret to success, his dance success, is Pilates, there we go. So, <laughs> okay, good, shake it out a little bit, excellent. Place your hands on your shoulders and we're going to inhale up and exhale down. We're going to circle backwards. You want to keep the rib cage down here, guys, so we don't want that to happen. Yeah, we don't want to stick the chest out. So use your stomach muscles, use your big ball of orange sunlight to keep your ribs down. And whatever's going on with your arms and shoulders today, if you've got one shoulder that's slightly stronger than the other, we're going to work to the weaker shoulder. So rather than get the stronger shoulder really strong and leave the weak one behind, we're going to work to the weaker shoulder. Yes, yeah? so they're even. Extend the arms and we circle backwards. Extend big, 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 big circles if you can. Remember, we're going to the, the weaker arm. Yeah, the arm that you're maybe recovering from. If both your arms and shoulders and everything are fine, then go for it. But if you know you've got a slight imbalance, <coughs> always go to the weaker side. So you're, you're building them up together. Hands back on again, and we circle forwards this time. So inhale up, exhale down, circling forwards this time. So Stephanie, can you go backwards, my love, because you went forwards on the first one. So Stephanie, that's it. Yeah, there we go. Try not to lean forwards, guys. The tendency is to, like, hunch down. We want to keep everything upright. Extend the arms, extend the fingers. Let's go forwards with the big arms, except, Stephanie, you're going to go backwards with the big arms. <laughs> that's it well done and if you feel like your back's moving oh this is difficult today I'm feeling a strain in my shoulders it's like a work this is a workout even though we're warming up it really does it's a lot of tension I was doing some pull-ups yesterday so maybe that's why I'm feeling it today in my shoulders oh shake it out I'll let you off the hook because I did pull-ups so I'm not <laughs> all right bring your chin to your chest and as we do this I want you to Visualize the space in your vertebrae, in your neck, the top of your neck. As you lean forwards, imagine that sunlight shining out. <clears throat> and then we're going to roll up to look over the right shoulder. And then we're going to roll down, roll up to look over the left shoulder. And then we roll down. And just keep that going. Oh, that feels lovely. Feel the release through the neck. So any tension that you might have built up through the day. So I quite like doing this at the end. I like doing Pilates at the beginning of the day and the end of the day. Because it's a nice way to warm the body up in the morning. But it's also a really lovely way to wind the body down. Even though we're moving and working out. We can release anything that we've built up throughout the day. Let's hold it to one side. Whichever side you're on, I don't mind. Hold it to one side. And then just tilt the head back. So you're going to feel a lovely stretch to the side of the face, the jaw and the neck. Again. Just releasing anything, any tension. Lovely stretch there. And let's roll down again. And we go the other side, leaning back. Stretching out. 
Maybe open and close the mouth if you want to get an extra jaw stretch. And then roll the head back down. Look up. Release your jaw. Look up to the ceiling. Make a funny noise if you want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then chin to chest. Soften the knees. Scoop the belly. I'll show you sideways. And we roll down bone by bone. Heavy head, heavy shoulders. Scoop the belly in. So you really want the stomach muscles engaged. Soften your knees if you need to. Flop the head. We go again. Rolling up. Scoop the belly. Let the stomach muscles push you back up. Shoulders down. Inhale. Look up. Release the jaw. Funny noise, optional. Exhale, chin to chest. Bone by bone we roll down here, leading with the head, the hands, all the way down. And when you get down there, just hang out there for a moment. Hang out there for a moment. Well, I tie my hair up. I forget how long it's getting and it's just getting on my nerves. All right, and then we're going to take our circles. <coughs> so, releasing down, we're going to... Take the hands behind the head, push the elbows back, bend the knees, transfer to your heels. And if you're seated, you just do exactly the same in a seated position. We inhale, circle round to the left, come all the way up to stand. And exhale, down to the right. Push the elbows back, bend the knees. Round we go. Keep it going. Draw the belly in. And what we're doing here is we're really mobilising the whole body, but also releasing tension through the back. Really bend the knees to come down, guys. Keep it going. Yes, I have lower back pain today too, the person that messaged that in the box. So we'll be really careful of backs, as always. If you're dizzy, guys, come up. If you're okay to stay, then release and hang down. Bend the knees. Flop it out. And especially if you are managing anything with your back, really use your legs today. Really take that bend. Don't be a hero. And hands behind the head, we're going to go the other way. Round to the right this time. Come all the way up to stand. Push those elbows back. And down to the left. Keep it going. Slowly, slowly, slowly. I want you to feel everything in your body. Everything through your body. So try not to do this too quickly. Rather than just... Getting this over and done with, I want you to feel everything in your body. All the movements, notice the movements. All right, if you're dizzy, come up to stand. If you're okay to come round one more time, then do. All the way down and round and then flop it out. Flop, flop, flop it out. And then let's scoop the belly in. And rolling up, bone by bone, head's the last thing to come up. And we inhale, take the arms up. And our favourite bit, hold on to your right wrist and exhale, lean. Find that lovely stretch through the side of your body. And when you're ready, come back to the centre on the inhale, switch hands. And exhale, lean to the right. Oh. It's kind of like stretching yourself out because you hold onto your hands and you lift and lean. And visualise if you want that ray of light shining out from the side of your body. I'm not sure if you can hear that. Apologies if you can. Uh, my little one is singing in the bath at the top of his voice. It's very loud for me, but... Um, Hopefully you guys can't hear it. Don't want him to take, don't want him to take the limelight, do we? No, we're here for Pilates, not for nursery rhymes. Okay, good. Yes, shake it out. Go wild with those arms. All right, we're keeping the blocks and pillows there. So if you need to just have a little shake out, then do. But we're going to put the block back. I'm going to grab some water. Okay. <clears throat> I always have dinner before I teach this class because I always like to go to bed straight afterwards. I mean, I know that you guys were talking about dinner beforehand, and that's why I'm so thirsty. I always have my dinner, and I'm like, <gasps> makes me thirsty when I'm doing the class, but... Okay. Right. Let's go. So we're going to do lateral twists. So we're going to twist the upper part of the body away from the lower part of the body. And what that's going to do is it's really going to fire up our abdominal muscles. It's a really small exercise, but done correctly, it's such a good core exercise. It really 
gives you lots of ab definition as well and you can really feel the abs working. So what we're going to imagine is the lower part of our body, so our from our sort of hips down, is going to stay facing forwards. And we're going to imagine we've got lights, headlights on our hip bones, beep beep, shining forwards. Do not let those lights shine around the room because you twist your knees out and you won't get the workout. Keep the hips facing forwards. Or you can imagine you're cemented. Upper body twists only the upper body twists so you can kind of see this i guess you can see it from what i'm wearing the upper part of my body is like this dark blue and the lower part is a purpley color you can see the purple staying facing the front and the blue is twisting but we don't need to excessively twist yeah i'm only twisting a little bit so that i can feel that workout especially my oblique muscles the sides of my abdominals that's where we're feeling this exercise so as we twist we engage and as we come back to center, we inhale, we exhale, engage and twist, inhale back to center. If it's too much for your shoulders, please bring your hands down. So if you're hunched like this, or you're arched like this, and you can't quite get that straight neutral spine, then just bring your arms down, help yourself, do yourself a favor, yeah? Keep it going guys, I'm gonna spot you to see if I can, yeah, so Jenny, really keep those hips anchored forwards. Those hips are going for a wonder, you're lighting up all around your room. <laughs> it's like a disco in there. <laughs> See both now. All right, let's shake it out. Good. Okay, we're going to make it a little bit more challenging now. Extend the arms as wide as possible. Reach with your fingers. So I really want you to feel length, but also don't let the shoulders do this. Imagine your shoulders are kissing behind your back, but but but, but don't let your don't let this happen. Yeah, so draw the shoulder blades together. Use your stomach muscles. So we're using the back muscles and the stomach muscles before we've even done anything, just standing here. Working out, just standing still, amazing, right? Inhale, let's exhale, twisting round to the left. Keep those hips facing forwards. Inhale, back to the center. Reach with your fingers, exhale, twist. Inhale, back to the center, keep it going. Nice one, all right, shake it out, guys. Shake it out impressive so that was like basically an ab workout there was no lying down there was no crunching and you're all gonna have like def defined abdominals that's what we're looking for okay next let's remove the blocks <clears throat> what's on my list what's on my hit list oh no that's last week this week yes okay so Strength and balance. We're, doing, we're going to do quite a lot of leg work today, guys. So even if you're seated, you're going to do a lot of leg work. So don't think because you're seated, you're not doing it. You're going to do lots of leg work, okay? <laughs> Hands on the hips. Circling around. All the legs are moving. All right. So if we can do some nice big hip circles. As we take it back, really sticking the bum out the side. As you take it forwards, really sticking the hips forwards. Let's get nice big circles. And what we can imagine is that we're painting a big orange sun with our body as we circle. And let's go the other way. So really use this as an opportunity to stretch out. Stick the bum out, stick it out the back. Oh, that's a lovely stretch. And then round to the front. Good, I'm just gonna adjust my monitor because can't see all of me, I don't think. All right, good, standing on our right foot. And we just circle the left ankle. So standing or seated, we're circling the left ankle one way. Really anchor on that standing leg. Lifting, so remember your posture. And circle the other way. So really, I mean, with Pilates, all this stuff I'm teaching you, it's basically your core practice for anything that you guys do. Let's switch legs. So any exercise you do, any dancing you do, you're ice skating, walking down the street, standing in a queue, all of this stuff, I mean, I'm not going to be standing on one leg, circling your foot, circle the other way, but all the posture stuff, all the breath work, all the way that you hold yourself, all the way that you relax your shoulders, relax your jaw, use the breath. You can do that through everything that you're doing. Bring the knee in if you can for a little balance and a hip stretch or hip flexor stretch. So 
I know that Marguerite has spoken to you guys about how I used to use this as my off-ice training and when I did start doing Pilates, when Marguerite got me with a Pilates school instructor, my skating got so much better because I became so much more body aware and how I was breathing, how I was using my breath. So don't just think this is like a Pilates class that you come to to work out to do all the things. You can use this for everything. You can use everything I'm teaching you for all of the things that you're doing. Off ice, on ice, not even, not even exercise, just walking down the street, yeah? All right, excellent. So strength and balance, we're gonna do some strength and balance exercises. So we're gonna stand on the left foot, and again, do this seated or standing. We're gonna inhale, bend, and exhale, extend. So hands on the hips, inhale, bend, Exhale, extend, turn the knee out and use the inner thigh, yeah? Inhale, bend, exhale, extend. Now I'm bending my standing leg as well. If that's too intense, keep it straight. So you can just bend the free leg. Make sure your shoulders are down and make sure that you're not hunching forwards, yeah? The most important thing here is your balance. So hands can be down. If you want to, you can get the arms involved. So bend and open, extend. If you want, you can get a little bit artistic with it. As long as the shoulders are down, so you can do nice sweeping movements, maybe a figure of eight, but the principles need to be there. So the balance and the strength and the posture needs to be there. So as we're doing this, I don't want to see anyone like this. In fact, if you could all turn sideways, those of you that are live, so I can see your posture, that'd be really useful. And then I can coach you on it and make sure that you're all doing that right. Really nice, everyone. All right, let's hold it at our maximum position, wherever that is. Either hands on the hips, arms out, or towards the floor, and we're going to pulse that leg to the ceiling, or tap the floor if you need that balance, yeah? Shh, 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 shoulders down. I've turned my palms to the ceiling because I want to feel powerful. I want to feel like I'm holding the sky as I'm doing this. You want to feel like you're holding the sky? Turn your palms up to the ceiling and feel how powerful you are. <laughs> Yes, good. Oh my goodness, that feels wonderful. Right, shake it out. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Shake the hips, shake the bum, shake the body. Good. Other side, standing on the right foot this time. So really anchor, ground that right foot in. And we're gonna use the left leg. Hands on the hips to start. Inhale, bend, exhale, extend. Turn the knee out, use the inner thigh. Inhale, bend, exhale, extend to progress. You can bend both knees and extend both knees. So we bend and we rise. A little bit like a plie if anyone's done ballet before. If you want, get the arms involved. <laughs> bend and open, extend. I lost my balance a bit. If you want, get them nice and flowy, but don't lose your balance, yeah? The key is the balance, the strength, and the posture. All right, let's hold it at a maximum. Point, either hands down or hands up, and we pulse to the ceiling. If you want, feel that power. Turn your palms up. Imagine you're holding the sky. Turn those palms up. Go on. Go on. Press those hands up to the sky. Imagine you're holding the sky up. Defying gravity. <laughs> Pulsing. And shake it out. Well done, nice work. Loving the wiggles. All right, more strength and balance. Should we do some, well, let's do some um, bums. Let's do some, some glutes. So we're gonna stand up nice and tall and we can do a little um, landing check. This is good for landing prep if you want. So you're in, gonna inhale, have the hands in and exhale take them out. So we lift up to come in and we exhale to land. Inhale up, exhale land. But we're using that standing leg, so I'll show you from the front. Inhale up, exhale land. So maybe do it your natural landing way first if you want and if um, then we're going to switch sides. Good Grant, I was going to say yes, let's have a look at those arms. Inhale, that's it. Awesome. You guys are smashing it today. Good. Imagine you're just landing a jump that you've been working on, whatever your last jump was that you were working on, or spin, 
and then we check it out at the end. Just feel that power in your body that you've landed, that jump that you were working on. Keep that jump in your mind and you can share it with me at the end. All right, let's switch sides. Oh, that was, that's a very intense move that is on a standing leg. I just think when you get back on the ice, you can all work on it. All right, so we switch sides. This might be your not natural way. So you probably went for your natural way first. So we're gonna go the other way. Inhale up, exhale, land. Inhale up, exhale, land. Oh, I'm losing my balance. Good, check it out, land. Inhale up, and feel it in your glutes. So keep the body upright, because when we land a jump, or come out of a spin, we don't want that body to fall forwards, do we? We want to keep our core strong, keep the body and eye gaze up, so that when we do land, we're giving ourselves a fighting chance. Let's see these. She's in the air, and then she's there. So I was doing it just from behind, but upper level. So if anyone wants to try that, you're welcome to. But keep the balance, guys. If the balance starts going, Okay, should we stop this? Should we stop the, the landing madness? I think we've landed all of the jumps we wanted to land today, so shake it out. And we'll move on to some spirals, because we like the spirals, yeah? I'm cheating, I'm holding on to something. All right, so, rules with spirals. Before we start to get creative and artistic, I want to get the basics in first. So, standing on our left leg to start with, we're going to inhale, shoulders down, eye gaze up, and we exhale, slide forward. So I haven't taken a full spiral because I want to make sure my balance is there first. Yeah, the arms come forward, the legs come, the leg comes back, and we can see how our balance is. Now, if you're losing your balance, you're just taking it nice and small. I want the um, <laughs> balance there first. The standing leg as well, keep it slightly bent, ever so slightly bent, because we're not on the ice and we don't have the, um, the speed of the movement to keep us balanced, yeah? We're having to, we're, this is static, so we're having to hold our balance ourselves. So keep your, a slight micro bend in your standing knee. If, if you haven't switched sides, then please do. And yeah, you can take opposite arm to opposite leg. Um, if anyone knows Superman, then please, at the end of the session, remind me. You have to, you have to, you can have a solo spot at the end and you can do the, do the Superman thing too. <coughs> All right, shake it out. Well done. Okay. Next on the agenda. I told you it's leg day today. We're going to do plie and squats. Da 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 <laughs> Are we ready? Plie and squat. So, legs nice and wide. Toes facing out. Neutral spine. Neutral spine. No arching, sticking bums out, no rounding. And we inhale, take the arms up. And we exhale, bring them down to the sides. Good. So, Grant, what I want from you is the arms, taking those arms up and bringing them down. So big circles, feel free to do one at a time if you want to Grant, or you can try and do both at the same time. So everybody, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really come down on all of you. I don't want wishy-washy floaty arms. I want strong, big, I'm painting a huge sun around me arms, like the biggest sun I could paint with my arms, and I'm gonna reach my arms as wide as they will go. I'm gonna send my knees out and I'm gonna drop my bottom straight to the floor. It's not sticking out, it's not rolling under, it's going straight down. And my back is staying straight. Imagine your head is on an imaginary wall behind you, yeah? If you want, you can actually go to a wall and slide up and down the wall if that helps you. That's it, arms come down as you stand up, Courtney, that's it. Inhale, bend, arms come up, that's it. Yep, good, Jenny, use the wall if you want. 
Inhale, bend. Can we get an arm circle? Can you paint a big sun with one of your arms? So paint a big sun up and a big sun down. What do we think? Can you reach up to the ceiling? Good. Good. <laughs> well done. I know that's going to be challenging, but I'm trying, to, I'm trying to progress you a little bit. That's it. Excellent. Let's hold it down for three breaths, guys. Really nice work. <coughs> Inhale. Hold it. If you need to come up, Stephanie, get those arms straight. Get those up. That's it. Well done. Really well done. I know that's a challenge, but well done. If you need to come up at any point or bring the arms down, then do. Sink it lower for the last breath. And exhale, arms to your sides. And let's rise up to the toes. Take a little float. Shoulders down. Palms forwards. Core engaged. I can't get Superman out of my head now. That song is in there now. <laughs> Arms down, Stephanie. That's it. Heels down. Inhale. Drop it down. <laughs> Hold it. Reaching up. Inhaling. And exhale. Drop it lower. I'm not low enough. I'm cheating myself. And let's rise to the toes. You really feel that in your glutes and your groin as you do that exercise. Shoulders down. Palms forwards. Let's go. One more set of three. Heels down. Inhale. Arms up low as you can. Back straight. Head on your imaginary wall. Hands up to the ceiling. Shoulders down. Inhale. Belly to spine. Exhale. Lower it one more time. And let's come up one more time. Blood rushing down to the fingers as you feel that. Squeeze the glutes. Engage the core. Heels down. And walk your feet back in. Good. Shake it out. And we're going to do one more round. We're going to do some squats and then we're going to move on because time is flying this evening. So we're going to have the feet nice and wide again. But this time you're going to have your toes facing the front. So you're going to create like a box, yeah? Now I want you to imagine that there's a chair just behind you and you're trying to catch it with your bum. Yeah? So that's a squat. But what we want to make sure what's going to happen is our back stays nice and straight and our arms come up by our ears. Can you see my posture? If I tilt, you can see it's gone wonky. If I round, you can see it's gone wonky. So you want your pelvis in line. You want your neutral spine. And we exhale to come up. Inhale, take the eye gaze forwards as well. And exhale to come up. You're going to really feel this through your thighs, through your glutes. Extend the arms and fingers. Inhale. And exhale. Keep it. Do you want me to show you again? So as you come down, the arms come up. So we've got this lovely long line, and then we come up again. So the arms are just taking this journey. Yeah? And they come down as we squat, or they come up as we squat, and they come down as we rise. They come up as we squat, and they come down as we rise. Really nice. Hold it down if you can for three breaths. Let's hold that squat. Three breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Drop it lower if you can. Inhale and exhale. Let's rise up to the toes. Shoulders down. Palms forwards. Take a balance. And let's go again. One more set. Three breaths. Down we go into that squat. Inhale, reach with the fingers. Exhale, lengthen the spine. Inhale, shoulders down. Exhale, belly to spine. Last one, drop it lower. Well done, Mary P. And rising up. I saw that last drop. One minute you're on the screen, the next minute you were gone. <laughs> Heels down, walk the feet in. And excellent work. Shake it out. Okay. Grab water if you need to. We're going to do roll downs to planks. So, move your monitors a little bit lower so that I can see you lovely people and your bodies on the floor. So I should be able to see your mats. And, let me just see my mat. There we go. So you won't see the top of my body. If you're watching this on the replay on YouTube and you've not done this before, please just watch and then I will... <laughs> what are you two doing? Sitting in the window, watching the world go by. 
All right, let's do this. So, eye gaze up and forwards, shoulders down. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, arms to your sides, chin to chest, belly to spine. Scoop it in. If you're seated, then just do this seated. Rolling down, bone by bone, let the head go, shoulders go, let everything go. Even if you want, hold on to the elbows and really feel the weight of your body. Bend your knees if you need to. And then we inhale and exhale, walk out to plank. So, planking, if you need to, immediately bring your knees to the floor. If you're okay too, hands under the shoulders. Bottom in line with the head. Imagine you've got a plank of wood across your back. Opposite other other um, modifications of planking from the fists. And planking from the forearms as well. So take your options. I'm not going to do too many of these because, as I said, my back's feeling a little tender today. So if you have got a tender back, you can do what I'm going to do and you can walk up and down from this all fours position and just be easy on yourself. If you can hold plank, then go for it. To come up, bring your knees down and walk your hands back to your feet. Or from plank, push back into a down dog, aka triangle position. And then walk your hands back to your feet. <sighs> release, soften the knees, scoop the belly and we roll up bone by bone and your head should be the last thing to come up, shoulders down, eye gaze up and forward, let's all go together if you've been watching, let's all go, inhale, arms up, exhale, arms to your sides, chin to chest, scoop the belly in, Ra imagine you're rolling up and over a big ball, and we come all the way down, hold it there guys, okay, Inhale and exhale, walk out to plank. I'm going to come and spot you all. Excellent, excellent. All right, let's either knees down and walk back to the feet of the knees or push back into your triangle position and then come back into your forward fold. Flop, 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 flop. Really feel the release of any tension through your back, through your shoulders, through your neck, stretching out your hamstrings to the backs of your legs. Inhale, scoop the belly and exhale, roll up bone by bone. Head's the last thing to come up. Inhale, shoulders down, eye gaze up and forwards, arms up. Let's try and get those arms up, Grant, if you can. Good. Exhale, arms to your sides, chin to chest, and roll down, bone by bone by bone. Heavy head, heavy shoulders, let everything go here. Hold it, hold it. Stay where you are. Notice if you can straighten your legs. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Don't worry if you can't. Maybe you want to bend one knee and then the other. Yes. Inhale and exhale, walk out to the plank either on the hands, or the fists, or the forearms. So you can take your options however you want to be. If you want to make it more challenging for yourself, if you're feeling like the planks are getting easy, take your hands wider and longer. Yeah, don't, don't push yourself, but if you feel you can, then do. Bring your knees down if you need to. All right, push back into your triangle, or bring the knees down, walk the hands back to the feet. And then hold the forward fold again. You guys are excellent. Release, release. No, no, coming up yet. Let it hang. Unless you need to come up, then obviously do. Inhale, scoop the belly. And exhale, rolling, rolling, rolling up. Bone by bone. Let's go one more time. Let's really make this one count. Inhale. Good. Exhale, bring them down. Chin to chest, belly to spine. Rolling down, bone by bone. Really feel space between each vertebrae. Imagine that orange sunlight shining out from each vertebrae. Hang out here, flop your head, and just use this time to just release any tension. Beautiful. Inhale and exhale, walk out to your plank. Last plank. It's, good. it's a nice, strong one. In through the nose and out through the mouth, pushing through the floor with whatever part of your body's on the floor, whether it's your forearms, your hands, your feet. Excellent. All round. All right, let's come into child's pose. Sink your bottom down. <clears throat> either arms in front in fact let's take the arms in front to start with so it's up to you what you want to do you can either open the knees nice and wide or you can keep the knees closed so if you keep the knees closed you're resting your belly on your thighs and you're normally stretching out the lower to middle part of your back so Mary P I would keep your legs closed if you've got lower back that you want to stretch out and keep them closed. If this is aggravating your lower back, then open your knees, okay? So, depending on what's going on with your back today. If you choose to open your knees, guys, that tends to stretch out the arms and the shoulders and the upper back. So you can either do a mixture of the two, so you can start with the legs closed and then open, or 
left, you can just opt for one or the other, whichever one feels good for you. So even though my legs were closed, I'm stretching out my lower back, that was getting a little bit intense because it is a little bit tender, so then I open my legs. So just listen to your body. Maybe the open leg is a bit much for your shoulders and your upper back, and you might want to close your legs. But whatever position you're in now, just hold it there. And we're just going to connect with the breath. So we're going to allow the breath to open or to travel into our ribs, the back of our ribs, into our lungs. And we were talking about this last week. We were talking about how we let the breath massage our insides, like an internal massage. If you want as well, guys, I can move my arms around to the side. Feel free to. You can move the backs of your hands onto the floor. And so as we breathe into our lungs, into our ribs, you can use your breath to help expand, to help give your organs, your, <laughs> your muscles an internal massage. And some of you were starting to feel that last week. See if you can expand on it this week. And as you breathe out, just, just try and release any tension. Again, just down into the earth. And then when you're ready, slowly coming up. Oh. Could anyone, did anyone get more of an internal massage this week? Thumbs up for yes. Oh, good. Thumbs down for no. Thumbs in the middle for nah. Oh, nice. Good, we're getting there with the old internal massage. And like I said, it's not like someone actually giving you a physical hand massage. It's more of a an expansion, it's more, you know, using the breath to open and find space in our bodies, you know, lengthening, opening, that kind of, that kind of massage, rather than somebody, you know, deep tissue massaging you, so, just a different way of thinking about ways that you can use your breath to create space and to alleviate any discomfort in your body, it's a, the breath is a really powerful thing. As is water. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, move on. We're going to one more exercise, I think, and then if we've got time, we do a little bit of maybe like five minutes of meditation. You up for that? Do you want some of that today? Do you feel like you need it? Some downtime, some zen time? I feel like I need it, so normally whatever I feel like I need, I offer to other people, and it's, uh, it's usually a similar, similar vibe. Okay. So we're going to do the saw. So this is a nice stretching exercise. It's a really good one for flexibility and posture. So if you need your block, and I'll tell you why you might need it in a minute, then just have it nearby. So basically, I'm going to show you sideways on. We're going to have our legs in a V position. So not a huge straddle, but just a V. And you want your back. You want your body to be at like an L position or a right angle. So can you see how my body is like, straight and straight. If you're like this and you can't quite get yourself up to straighten your back, then pop the block underneath because what that does is it creates a bit of space, a bit of length through your legs and it allows you to sit up straight. So the block's not there, you know, it's not a, it's not a bad thing, it's just helping you. Equally, if your legs are quite tight and you can't straighten your legs, pop the block underneath as well, that's really useful. So you can use the block or not, it's up to you, um, it just helps with posture. All right, now, it's called the saw, but I think I've said before, it really should be called the book, because what I want you to think about your body being is a book. I want you to think about yourself closing like a book, straight. You know how the back, backs of books are really, really straight, yeah? So we twist, pull the toes back, and we exhale, close the book. Now. I can't close the book very far at the moment without that happening. And I want you to keep the back straight. So I want the eye gaze up. I don't even want you to look at your feet. I want you to think about belly to thigh. So as we close the book, belly to thigh. Yeah? Not head to leg. When a book closes, the two ends of the book are the last thing that comes together. So the head and the feet would be the last thing that come together. So we're going to inhale, twist, pull the toes back, exhale, 
close the book, kind of. <laughs> Twist and attempt to close the book. Yeah? <laughs> Good. Really nice, everybody. So we want to keep the head up. Try not to twist the body either. We, want, we don't want to twist past their leg. So we're in line and we close, but our eye gaze stays up. Yeah? You'll feel this stretch through the back. You'll also feel it through the hamstrings. Try and keep the legs straight if you can. Right, everybody, one more time, all together. Let's have a go. Let's get that back as straight as we can. Fabulous. And really pull those toes back. Some of your feet, I'm seeing a little bit floppy. So flex the feet, kick with your heels, pull your toes back. Excellent. All right, well done, well done, well done. Okay. Shake it out, bring the legs together. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Good. And just bring the soles of your feet together. And this time, let's just round the body down. So we'll take that round in the spine. Good. All right. Um, you can either stay seated, so if you want to, you can stay in this position or you can sit in an upright position or you can lie down, it's up to you. We've got like a few minutes, we're not going to do a particularly long one, but we will take a little time to chill. So get yourself as comfortable as you can on the surface that you're on. You can lie down, you can sit, sit down, you can do whatever you want to do. And like I said, we're not going to do too long. We're just going to just do a little bit of self-love, self-appreciation. Because we are awesome. Okay. So get yourself as comfortable as you can on the surface that you're on. And I'm going to invite you to close your eyes. And just start to connect with your breath. So long, deep breaths in through the nose. And slow, releasing breaths out through the mouth. With each in-breath, feel a lightness through your body. With each out-breath, just release the jaw, soften the jaw and let the jaw become really heavy. Inhale, lengthening and lightness through the body and exhale, releasing and lengthening. Letting everything go. And as we breathe in, I want us to notice any parts of our body that are feeling maybe tired or sore or achy or tingly. Any sensations that you notice. And these don't have to be bad sensations. These can be good sensations because you just had a bit of a workout. But just notice them. And as you breathe out, I want you just to try and release them down to your mat, down to the floor, down to your chair, down to the earth. Just let them go. Breathe in and notice how your body feels. Breathe out and let it go. And just let your breath communicate What's going on with your body? Appreciating everything that's happening to your body, appreciating the uniqueness of your body. Sending love and gratitude for being here today, for all that your body does for you, right up until this point all the places it's taken you, all the experiences it's given you, all the lessons it's taught you. How wonderful our bodies are. How wonderful we are. I want you to start to focus your breath in your heart space and just start to breathe from your heart, sending some love to yourself.
And as you lie here, just breathing from your heart space, sending love and gratitude to your body. I'll use the sound of the singing bowl just to create some nice calm sounds for you. And on the next sound of the bowl, just start to wriggle your fingers and toes and start to bring yourself back into the here and now. Bring your knees into your chest. Give them a nice big hug. <clears throat> and then rolling onto your side. Coming onto all fours. And let's slowly bring ourselves back up. So we're going to roll up slowly, bone by bone. Head's the last thing to come up. And then we inhale, take our arms up. And exhale down to the side. Lovely. One more time. Big circle. Inhale, take them up. Bring your hands together above your head and bring them down past your face. And just center your hands into your heart space. Good. Arms down by your sides. And if you just want to take a moment, close your eyes if you need to. And just acknowledge how you feel in this moment. So either how you feel physically or how you feel mentally or emotionally, just words describe how you feel in yourself. And then give yourself a big smile, open your eyes, round of applause, and let's come back together. Really well done everybody. We'll hand over to Margarita. And if anyone wants to share, we'll just wait for the recording. Bye everyone on the replays.